Hi, and welcome to the fourth video in the series about optimization in UFN. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use data layers to optimize your in-game memory. So for this demonstration, I will use again helicopter I've got from Sketchfab and created by Excalibur 117. I will leave a link in description. So as you can see here, I have lots of helicopters, 60 precisely. And my memory usage, as you can see, it's a three and a half thousands. Let's jump to UFN and do memory calculation. So we see one helicopter here and it's instanced 60 times. And this is our usage. So, okay. So how data layers can help us to optimize our, um, this in-game memory. It's actually, they can help us to totally bypass this memory usage, but be careful. As I stated in a first video in this series, that when you cheating something or bypassing something, um, that not going anywhere, your memory, like player's device memory will still be used. And this calculation this um, meter on top it helps us to basically not go too crazy right it's i think it's on the lower side so it could go higher but at least we know that um, we should be careful um, and again even if you don't care about mobile uh, devices there is options you can disable your meshes you can make your level empty so it's not playable even uh, by mobile phone, but at least it won't crash because if it will start crashing devices, um, I'm, I'm suspecting that your map will be removed and um, that's pretty bad, right? So again, back to data layers. What we can do, we can take all the 60 helicopters and we can place in a data layer. When it's in data layer, we can dictate do we want it to be loaded or unloaded in the memory and we can load it when we want we can load it on a button press we can load it on a trigger we can load it with something else uh, we can load it from the verse uh, or we can just load it on a game start we have lots of possibilities but thing is if we setting our data layer to start as unloaded it's not calculated by memory, uh, by memory, this calculation. So let's just do this to preview. Let's go to window, world partition, data layers. So in here, right click, let's create new and new data layer. I will drop it in the helicopter folder. Okay, so now back in our outliner, I will select all helicopters. And right on the bottom, we have data layer assets. So just click plus and select your this data layer and it's done. This is so easy to add all these assets to that data layer. Now back in data layers, you see, so if you clicking on data layer in editor and runtime, so this is important. So you see in runtime, so this is basically our game and initial runtime state unloaded so we have unloaded loaded and activated the friend is loaded it means fully unloaded from memory loaded it means it's already in the memory so cpu put it in the memory but it's not active so it's not visible and then it's activated so it means it's loaded and it's visible why there is a free stage is because more stuff you have in your data layer and if it's fully unloaded it takes a bit of time to load it to the memory and to show. So there could be some lag. It could be half second, it could be second. It depends how heavy your assets are. And this then, it helps us. So basically you can tell, for example, you know that maybe in a few seconds you will need to show that. And then you can already now load it in the memory. So it will take maybe a second, maybe two. But because you don't need to show it directly now, it's loaded and it's waiting. And then 
you switching to activate it and then bam it will show without any delay because it's already inside of the memory so this is three stages super important in this example i will just use unloaded and activate it okay so you don't need to do anything in here so then let's create level sequence let's open that and go add data layer now right click edit section and in here data layer asset we need to click on this plus and choose our data layer that's it so look in here it says desired state it's activated so as i said like it's loaded loaded and activate so activated it's loaded and showing and we want that so you can see even here this preview that it's activated why we don't need start with unloaded and then loaded because it will start unloaded and then whenever we uh, play the sequence it will automatically load it so this activation will happen whenever we will start playing cinematic device and again we can play cinematic device you probably know like from anything trigger button switch verse but what i will do i will just load it on the game start because i don't care when it's loaded what i care is just to show that all these helicopters won't be in the memory when we will do calculation so in here we will add our sequence it's important in a finish completion state we need to keep state otherwise it will play it will stop and it will unload everything it needs to stop and not go to zero in a sequence so that visibility everyone of course and auto play so this is on the begin uh, game and that's it so we've done that that's and looks good so now let's push changes and check Okay, it's pushed let's do memory calculation and you can see that our helicopter gone completely from here let's get back to our game and you can see that from what it was now it's back to default size it's probably just added from cinematic device and in here we don't have any helicopters that's why it's not calculating them but now if we'll go back to game not go back but we in the game we have our helicopters and we can interact with them so this is one other way how you can optimize memory and add more stuff but again be cautious i really highly not recommend let's say pull your level inside of the data layer and then load everything um, on the game start smart way is basically separate that into locations into different environments for example maybe you have some uh, interior and exterior so whole interior could be as a data layer so when you approach and closer to that interior you can load it and so when player then enters that it's already loaded and then when you may be inside maybe you have many rooms so while you're inside or maybe you're underground you're unloading your whole exterior and this is actually done many many years in all games um not just only in ufn so uh, th this is a smart way uh, to optimize your memory because you're just loading what you need and unloading what you don't need and especially in the linear games not open world where player can go whenever wherever they want whenever they want so in the linear games uh, when you're progressing through all stages uh, you can't as a player go back and the reason is because exactly what you already passed it's unloaded and uh, it's a part of all this like it's it could be called different not data layers but in a different engines is differently but most importantly it's basically that chunk now it's unloaded from the memory while where you're progressing towards that is loaded and in many games um, even in open world games like for example cyberpunk 2077 um, there are ways um, how you not even notice when this data is loaded and unloaded for example when you're going into elevator right 
this is a process like why for example you have this elevator well you could go really quickly somewhere and this is because uh, while you're in this elevator these data layers they load it um, into memory and then unload it some other stuff so again be careful about that don't think about this as a really hacky way to remove everything from memory calculation because this can start um, if you will overload your memory on lower end devices it will start crashing right so be careful test a lot and hopefully this will help you have fun i would like to say thank you to my all supporters i appreciate your support thank you for your generosity you can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you are interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications when new videos will be released. See you soon.